I want to talk about Ghosts from the Past today. We're going to talk about everything that's kind of floating around that you can give the chance to pick up at the moment. And, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily, MCO40, you know, our friends over at Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market, MCO40. And, you know, of course, Tier Zero Games. Use that hot discount code, What's Good 5 So, let's dig on into a special edition of, well, Wednesday Evening Market Watch? Yay, Wednesday Evening Market Watch. Make sure you guys smash your loving crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more market watches. So, Ghost from the Past. Um, there's only, as of making this, there's only two sources available. Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily and TCG Player. I'm assuming that Ideally to Wait will roll out later on. You'll have Trading Card Mint rolling out here in a little bit as well. And if Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, or Tier Zero has anything left in terms of singles, you'll probably see those over the next couple of days. So... We're, we're starting to see some interesting trends in this stuff. And as I said, if you guys use MCOL40, you, you can save. All right, so Dragoonity Remus here. Actually seeing these sold out at the $21 mark is kind of interesting. Uh, seeing the red supernovas at $20 bucks, uh, and actually holding at the moment is also kind of interesting. I'm seeing even these were sold out at 18s. I guess that makes sense. Cypher X Dragons at 13s. These will probably push down. Really, so this is this is my biggest chunk of expensive cards here. Dragoonity Glow, huh? I have a feeling that everything Dragoonity related here is going to be worth something. Uh, wow, this is seven bucks. Uh, Legatus here is seven bucks. I have a feeling you'll probably end up seeing Legatus end up being a ten dollar card once everything's settled here. All right, Heretic Heavenly Seer Overlord at six. This at six is all right. You tell he's a little bit up there. And wait. We head on down here for the remainder of Ghosts from the Past. This at five bucks is interesting. Sunvines at fives is also interesting. But we're here for like optimal deals and things that we can uh, go, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I have a feeling this is going to push down too. Hmm. This set is, uh, Fog Blades at 450 is kind of interesting. Obviously, with discount codes, it'll push it down. Seeing Alderban here getting bought out, and this is no surprise for me to see the shit all genius wiped out at the four dollar mark. Seeing the seed that four bucks is also interesting. Really, double barrels bought out. Same thing with the Time Thief. Okay, interesting. I guess the well, those were two dollars. Starry Knights got bought out. Really, somebody came through and bought out the Starry Knight, Starry Dragon, the Starry Knights guy, and the Rael. That's interesting, but the rest of the archetype is still here. Madolche cards, hmm, $2 and $2. So, for the most part, these look like these will push underneath. So, it looks like, hmm, the Fairy Tale Field spell is still here. Interesting. These are also still here. Backup Secretary's got another print. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yep, here we go. More Time Thief cards. Really? The dog got bought out? I guess at a 50 cent price tag, that's not bad. Okay, so this is where we can start talking about Penny's dogs. Alright, this this at 50 cents is not bad. Alright, that's actually kind of interesting. I don't think that this will go up. Uh, this, If you really want to play Penny Stonks, this this might not be a bad one to hold overall. Uh, I, don't, I think it would take a very long time for this card to gain any sort of value back. Uh, truthfully. Um... No, like look, all these, all these budget cheap cards. Really, this guy. Well, I guess this makes sense. Yeah, this card's not seeing any play, but like this was a good penny stung. I still think if, if you can find these at like quarters and fifty cents in large amounts and hold these, I don't think that's going to be a bad pickup over time. Just to hold. Okay, so yep, what we have going on here is exactly kind of what I thought was going to happen. So, you're going to have to keep an eye on Remus. This is probably going to be, besides the Ghost Rares, this is probably going to be your most expensive card with evenly matched running behind it. You might actually see these be $10 to $12. Like a test, you'll probably see same thing here. Um, and as you just saw, looking through like the lower end budget cards, like the 50 centers, things like that, I would keep an eye on the rank up spell card. It just takes one to two interactions for something to break this over time. And, I mean, who's to say you can't get, like, 20 copies for, like, quarters or something like that. So, that's the pure definition of the penny stonk market. So, yes, interesting stuff going on right now in terms of this TCG play really hasn't shifted that much. Um, I think the Ghost Rares, I do not know ratios, but I will say this. I've seen a couple 
of major clumping issues with this and I'm from Europe. I've heard some horror stories. It was what, like, uh, one guy pulled six Ghost Raiders from 15 cases or something like that. I've also heard American cases have been pulling uh, 1.5 per case. Um, some cases have been two, some cases have been one. So until we get something concrete, that's what I've heard. So before, we already had a couple of people going, hey, Robbie, what do you know for Ghost Raiders? Tell us. I'm like, honestly, it's kind of what you're looking at right now. So... Are these pre-sale prices something that you want to gamble on? I don't know. Um, these This chunk, I think, knowing these pre-sold at 500s and people had no problem paying 500 on them and then you jumped up to 700, it's like the only real thing I'm questioning here. Uh, yep, hey look, Remus got bought out on pre-sale. I, man, we could actually see Remus be a $25 card. It's actually horrifying. Yep, and it looks like here TCG players kind of starting to agree on what we're seeing on the other end of things here. Interesting enough, I have only seen, I have not seen a lot of Black Luster Soldiers pulled. That doesn't mean that Black Luster Soldiers not in short supply or anything. I don't want that to be the case. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of these pulled from a lot of my friends. I've seen more firewalls than really anything, um, just in the few cases that I've seen. So... I don't know. I, I kind of wonder if this price is going to give out, kind of like Crystal Wing has been pushing down at here. Because you can see that everybody's already undercutting each other here on the remaining three Ghost Raiders. So maybe we'll see this go down to 300. I think a lot of players would be very happy to see this card get pushed down. As you see, I mean, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily doesn't even have Ghost Raiders up at this point in time. So that's, uh, that's something to consider for the moment. All right. Hmm. Super Vehicle Stealth Union card. So we saw on the new box art that Roids were going to be getting support. Yes, the Anime Chronicles is bringing us new copies of Roids. Oh boy. Super Vehicle Stealth Union Machine Go. These are 50 bucks, by the way. Um, if you were thinking about getting in at the, the good level to pick up original copies of Vehicle Roid stuff, uh, we're not even going to look at Jumbo Drill. <laughs> not about that like. The mobile base, oh, these are still cheap, um, luckily. Wow, vehicle construction zone. I love how this card is like super up here. Oh look, it did get the reprint. Hmm, so you can't even, like there's nothing really too good with roids that I would go, oh yeah, you should pick up. Like I guess there's the Duelist League stuff, but in order to like get prepared for most of it, most of it's already got the reprint at this point in time, so I guess just, <laughs> Plan accordingly based on what we've seen so far. ZW cards, um, honestly, picking up ZW Leo Arms, I have a feeling this is going to get reprinted in the set anyway because um, of the interaction with it. But Light Plays are 16 bucks. If you were one of those people that's been debating on uh, wanting to pick up ZW stuff, 16 bucks for first ed Light Play is not too bad. I mean, regular Leo Arms, like 5 bucks as it is, I wouldn't touch this. They'll crash. And the rest of these... Pff, the rest of the old ZW pieces are literally nothing. So that doesn't matter at this point in time. So, hey, uh, if you want a nice ulti, it's available to you at a decent price. The Dark Magicians got bought out this morning. Um, I laughed really hard. 85 freaking dollars. 95 for Near Mint. Um, there's no reputable seller you can buy it from at this point. And then, of course, you just have, like, German copies pushing down. So, yeah... That's a situation for Dark Magicians. Soul Servants also got obliterated off the secondary market today as well. Woohoo, Dark Magicians. $26, by the way, on up to $27 for these stupid things. Ugh. Tunings, hey, with Stardust support on the way here. Yeah, so what are these going for now? Ooh, Spanish Light Play for 50 Ooh, 99 for Near Mint. We're going to get an Italian here. Hmm. What's the Spanish one look like? Ooh, Affinacion. That's actually nice. 50 bucks? That's a real banger. Charge of Light Brigade First Editions evidently have been wiped off of the market. Um, near mints are $600. The people that have been buying these out at $200 finally wiped it out. They did it. Wow. <laughs> All right, I, I, we've been we were watching that one for a while, but that's ridiculous. Four forty eight for chambers. I got mine for two twenty each. 
I, you know, I, I love the deck so much. I, I wish, I wish I had more time to play it, but still can't believe these are 90 bucks. Ugh, why'd you not reprint this, Konami? Huh? All right, uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, Ghost Trick Mary. These are really, holy crap, these are really $12? What have I missed? Lanterns are up? 15 bucks? Ugh. Hey, look, Wandering uh, Spirits, by the way. <laughs> 12 to $13. Uh, I've been selling out of these things all week. These things have been one of my best-selling cards. I found a stack of them. It's been unloading them at 13s. Ugh. So, uh, yeah. Wednesday afternoon look at Ghosts from the Past. So, this is what's available on the market. Patience, we'll see other sites get more stuff up, but... If you are, if you can find cheaper versions of, you know, obviously stuff like this available, pick it up and pay attention to what is available to you guys. So smash your involvement card by that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more excellent content. And I will see your beautiful faces back you later on in the day for some more cool, awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCall40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by MCall40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out MCallGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.